Nuclear weapons are currently owned by the United States, Russia, the United Kingdom, France and China. Um, these nuclear weapons are extremely dangerous and there has been always been in the world a global controversy around them. Uh, that's partially because, uh, especially in the 60s, uh, the United States and Russia was always feared that one another could disrupt one of each other with one of the nuclear bombs. Um, this wouldn't obviously happen because if it did happen, the whole, basically, most of that part of the world would be wiped out which would be great losses of life, human life would just die out in that part of the world completely. So what the United States and Russia decided was we will not have fights in like such as a nuclear war fights in the Cold War. What we'll do is we'll have proxy wars. So they had three proxy wars. Uh, the first proxy war was in Korea, where the Soviet Union backed the north of Korea, uh, and that was known as the, the uh, I can't remember what it's called, uh, and then the US backed the bottom part of Korea, the South Koreans, and then through that the US and Russia had a war, and then the second one was like, uh, what's called the Vietnam War and that was the Soviets versus Americans but soon after the Americans just started bombing Cambodia but that had no point in the war to be fair that was just complete utter United States genocide run by Henry Kissinger and Richard Nixon and then finally the last war they had was I believe it was the war in Afghanistan back in the late 80s and eventually the Soviet troops had to pull out but funny enough the war in Afghanistan in the 80s the United States backed a group known as the Mahajideen who later turned out to become Al-Qaeda Al which was a broke mass terrorist, terrorist organisation but the funny thing is, the US was backing it all the way through the war in uh, what is it? Afghanistan. And then when it came to them getting targeted by the actual Al Qaeda themselves, they seemed to backfire and the somebody they've just backed up for like around about 10 years or something. So, so there's a wee history lesson for you about nuclear weapons and about US-Soviet Union proxy wars.